Number 6, evaluate 4 times 10 to the minus 3 over 5 times 10 cubed. Let's rewrite it again. And then let's rewrite it again, but just have two fractions out of this. We'll have 4 fifths, and then we'll make this these 10s into another fraction here. Okay. Now my 4 fifths, if you divide 4 by 5, you're going to come up with 8 tenths, which is 0.8. And this, this 3 is going to move up to the top as a minus 3. So you're going to have 4 fifths because 0.8. And you had 10 to the minus 3. And this 10 cubed moves up to the top as a 10 to the minus 3. So you have minus 3 and minus 3. Okay, now if you have minus 3 and minus 3, what do you get? Minus 6. So you have 0.8 times 10 to the minus 6. Now this first number here is too small. It should be a number between 1 and 10 to have scientific notation. That's like 80 cents, and that's not a whole dollar yet. So you want between one and ten dollars, you might say. So we want to have between one and ten. So I need to move this over in one place to the right. When I do that, it'll be eight times ten to the minus one. Eight times ten to the minus one is 0.8. So I can rewrite this by moving the decimal one place to the right, and then have ten to the minus one. Now I've got parentheses around these showing where where that 10 to the minus 1 came from. This 10 to the 6 is copied here, but now I'm going to combine these two. So we'll put our parentheses around these two numbers. So that I can say negative 1 and negative 6 makes what? Negative 7. Final answer, 8 times 10 to the minus 7. We got a number between 1 and 10 right here, which is what I need. That's why I couldn't leave it as 0.8. 8 times 10 to the minus 7.